Hey, what's up guys? Got another video here for you. This one's probably a little bit more on the uh, lines of gatekeeping. It's also a question that I have for the community, something that I've wondered about actually since I was a kid, which is, um, you know, are all baseball games uh, supposed to be like simulation type and very stats oriented? The reason why I ask that is because when I was a kid, like a lot of other people my age, I enjoyed playing um, old uh, video games like uh, baseball themed video games. I almost had a copy of every uh, baseball game on the uh, NES. I think there were a couple that I was missing, but the ones I was missing were mostly, I think, like the later parts of the Bases Loaded series, and I don't think I had Roger Clemens' uh, MVP Baseball. Um, I had a lot of other games, though. I used to play RBI Baseball 1 like a lot of kids my days or my age, you know, like it was going out of style. I also remember playing RBI 3 like my life depended on it for a little while when I was I was probably still in elementary school then. Now, you couldn't do too much of a project with it, but the game would let you sort of play a schedule. And if I remember right, some of those games had like a, uh, a password feature so that you could keep playing later on. Of course, the famous one that a lot of us remember is uh, Baseball Stars, which was the game that allowed you to create your own team and um, had teams like the famous Lovely Ladies um, that were always difficult to beat. That game had um, an internal uh, attendance system and sort of a, a, a really simplified financial system for the uh, team and for all of that. So you could you could go through that and kind of create your own world, sort of like a very miniature version of uh, Football Manager except for baseball. And this was in like the early 1990s. That's a great game. And that's a lot of fun if you've never played it before. But that does lead me to ask, like, does that actually count as a project? Like if I were going to sit down and play with, I don't know, like MLB The Show and play a full season should that count as like a replay project or is there a problem because you're actually controlling the game arcade style is that something that we don't like do we consider that to be unrealistic and another question is is there a way that that type of style of play could become realistic and could you know sort of satisfy those of us who are really looking for a sort of realistic game now i understand that a lot of these games they're not going to be realistic right with um, rbi baseball one there's the old trick where if you're the um, american league all-stars you uh, take the first guy out of i can't remember who it was the guy out of the number one hole and put a mark mcguire to pinch hit for him and um, if you get the timing right you hit a home run every time i remember doing that frequently like yeah i mean it's kind of unrealistic if you're going to play a full season the guy gets like 200 home runs right <laughs> but um there is a question as to whether there are any of those games that actually could be considered realistic. And then the other thing is because you're talking about a lot of time and a lot of effort that's invested into this project, at some point in time, we should look at this and say, you know, this is really like a major replay project and we probably should give it some of the respect that it's due. So I'm interested to know what you think. I know that we have people here who are from all sorts of generations and have all sorts of different interests and stuff. I'd like to kind of know what your experience is and also like, what do you think about this? Do you think that it's too much gatekeeping to say that that type of game is not not um, a, I guess, legitimate baseball simulation? Or is there something that we could look at and say, yeah, you know, maybe that would count as a replay? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm interested in this subject and uh, seeing what we can talk about it. Don't worry, we're not going to have any sort of like major changes here. We have enough projects right now as it is. Um, but that'd be interesting to know for the future. And I'm also especially interested if there are any games you consider to be particularly realistic um, that maybe are more arcade style or might appeal to a wider audience, you know, that um, also might kind of scratch the itch that those of us who are kind of, you know, traditionalists and um, who uh, are kind of stuffy about this uh, might, uh, you know, uh, might might be interested in. So uh, just let me know what you uh, think and what your experience is below. I'll talk with you later. Bye.